You're bringing the other leg in and stretching and hold it because we're going to go do the other side. And I knew you knew that, but I just thought I'd let you know. All right, everybody down on their elbow or extending the arm or right here, either way. Once again, bottom leg is extended, top leg is behind or in front. Grab that foot, heel is up, toe is down. Now it's lift and lower, lift and lower. Once again, very small, very small. And it's lift and lower and lift and lower. Woo, squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Okay, now we're in position. Another eating awareness tip. <laughs> I know you were waiting with bated breath. <laughs> well, these are all things I think all of us have heard before. However, it's always good to be reminded. And I am, uh, this, this next one, I am not really uh, very good at. But avoiding distractions while you're eating. I mean, how many of you eat while you're watching TV or while you're, you know, on the telephone or, uh, you know, doing whatever, but you're not really focusing, you're not sitting down at the table and, and focusing on the food, so you're not thinking about it. So when you're trying to watch the amount of food that you put in your mouth, please remember to try to sit down at the table with the family or even if you're by yourself. And even reading a book, you kind of automatically, you know, put the food in your mouth and you sort of forget how much you're putting in. So try to just focus on the food, finish it, and then go about your business. And I know that's hard. And also the other thing is to eat only when you're hungry. And that's a tough one. Um, I've read so many times they say, you know, if, if dinner time or lunch time comes along and you're not hungry, I mean, don't you probably eat anyway because everybody else is? And that, so that I find very difficult. But it's one of those things that you have the option. You can say, um, gee, I'm really not hungry right now. And, and just take a little bit, you know, cut back on whatever you're eating if you feel the necessity to even have to eat anything. All right, guys, <laughs> four more, four and down, three and down, two more, up and down. Get ready, here comes the pulses, and it's one, two, three, back down, and lift two, three. But all those little tips are really just common sense, and we all know them, but oh, it's hard to do them, I know. And it's lift, two, three, two more times, squeeze, two, three, one more, lift, two, three, and release it, bring it back down. Oh, good, good. All right, let's bring it up and stretch it out. Now here's an inner thigh stretch, but be real careful now. Soles of the feet together, now you want your hands not on your toes, but your elbows, if they can, right on the inside of the knees, hands on the shin, lifting up out of the torso and just gent gently, gently press down and hold, pull and hold. Remember that stretch, here's the stretch reflex. You're pushing down and they, the muscles go, whoa, no, we don't want to stretch. And then all of a sudden they relax in about six to 10 seconds and they go, okay, okay, I think it's okay. And so then they stretch just a little bit farther. So that's why you need to hold your stretches only when you're warmed up, not when your muscles are cold. All right, let's bring it back up. Okay, we're gonna go down. Deanna, you can face me because we're gonna be doing some gluteals as well as abdominals. So I want you to start with your feet together your knees are together, and we're gonna do a pelvic tilt. We've done this before. You press the small of your back right down into the floor and lift the tailbone. The gluteals squeeze, the knees are together. Your chin is in the chest and your neck is long into the floor. Now you're gonna release it and press all the way down. Let the back arch up. That's just releasing it. So you can almost slide your hand right down underneath the small of your back. The tailbone is pushed into the floor. Now reverse it again. Round it down. Can you feel the small of your back pushing into the floor? Lift the tailbone, squeeze right there. Now keep those knees squeezed together. Relax the upper body. And it's lift and lower, lift and lower. Oh, there it is. Now resist the temptation to take it too high. I want you to keep it low. Squeeze and release. Up and drop, lift 
and drop. Now hold it, nice flat back. Four, three, two, super job. All right, I want you to bring it back up. Now here we're gonna just step right up on top of our step. You're gonna take your left heel and press back so the ball of your foot is stretching down. Now let's do a little bicep curl, are you ready? Lift and drop and lift. Now we're not working with weights today. If you choose to work with weights when you're doing stepping, that's okay. However, I really recommend that you keep the weight very low pounds, either one and a half, certainly not exceeding more than two pounds. Lift and drop and lift. Two more, here we go. Lift and drop and lift. Last time, now hold. Now I want you to change those feet. Take the other heel back, arms come up and stretch and back and stretch. Now this is a nice, smooth, controlled movement. I want those arms to warm up through the chest and the back. Four, back, three, and back, two, and back, and one. Hold it there. Now bring it down, and lift, and drop, and lift. Last two, two, and up, and one, and up. Bring it all the way down. Are you ready? We're going to step back down, marching with the right foot down. Okay, guys. <laughs> We're ready. Here we go. Now remember at home, do the best you can. We'll try to lead you through it. And it's four. We're going to tap up. Three. Just tapping. Two. Not stepping. Back time. Here we go. Take it up. One. And up. And up. Good. Now let me see a little bicep curl here. Are you ready? Up. And up. Pull it up. Lift. 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 Keep the shoulders back. Lift up through the torso. Abdominal tight. Eight. Seven. Six. Now keep the arms the same. I just want a heel to go to the front. Heel goes front and front and front. Now if I can explain this to you, I'd like for you to just sink down into that just a little bit. Try to really make those legs work so it's not a bounce. You're just really extending and working through the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, and back to a tap. There you go. All right. It's up. And up. Now place your hands right on your waist. It's tap. Two. All right. We're going to try something fancy here. We're going to do four single taps and then four repeaters on one leg. Then back to four single taps and four repeaters on the other leg. Uh-oh. Let's go. One, two, three. Now four repeaters right here. One, two, three. Now back to four singles. Lift. Two, three. You did it. Other side. Lift. Two. Now watch the arms in the middle. It's one, two, three. Watch the arms here. Take it out. Yeah, you can extend that leg just a little bit more. Single. Two, three. Repeat. Take it out. Two, three. And again, let's go up. Two, have you got it? All right, little warm up here. Lift. Two, three. Let's do it again. Single. One, two, three. Now this is the last time. Take it over. Take it over. Now back to a march. Right now, right foot down. Okay, we're ready to step up. So in four counts, remember, I'll try to count you down each time we're going to change in four counts. So you won't be surprised. It's four and three. And step up with the right foot. And it's up and down. Lift. Yeah, perfect. Lift. Drop. Lift. Okay. Let's add some arms. What do you say? Now, we've already done the bicep curl. So let's try that again. Here we go. Lift. Drop. Lift, drop, lift. Now we're going to add something else. We're going to extend it out towards me. Reach out, reach, pull in, lift, pull in, lift, pull in. You're doing great. Now let's put them together. Curl and down, reach, and again. Curl and down, and reach. Woo, we're having some fun now. And again, <laughs> out. Yeah, if you're working with us, you'll find that your heart rate, ooh, it really elevates very quickly. And out. Great. Bend, drop, reach. How about two more sets? Bend, drop, out. One more set. 
up, out. Now the same feet, just pump the arm. It's up, and up, and up. Now we're gonna go back to a march. Then we're gonna change feet and step up with the other foot. So let's get ready, counting it down in four. It's four, and down. Three, and down. Two more, two, and back to the floor right here. Press. Now the trick is, counting down in four, we'll tap with the left foot, so that's the foot we'll start on. It's four, and three, and two. Tap left, yeah, there you go. Did you get it? Now up in four. It's four, and three, and two. Take it up, it's up, and drop, you got it. And again, lift, different arms. Lift it to the side, and down, lift, and drop. Lift, nice and controlled. Remember if you're using weight, and you start to feel tired or dizzy, please put them down. Lift it, down again, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, good. Okay, I wanna see four more. Four, down, three, down, two, down. All right, now pump it out. So we're gonna change the arms again, bringing it across the chest. Are you ready? Let's bring it up, up and up, very small, very small. Okay, let's put them together in four. Four, and three, and two, and one. Hold it out, now take it down, and lift, cross it for two. You got it there, down, lift, cross it for two, down, up, in, two again, easy, lift, push. I think we got it now. Okay, let's see, two more sets, and down, and lift. Then we're gonna get a little bit fancier. Uh-oh, and up, and cross. Now, same foot, pump it out, lift, and lift. I want you to go back in the next four counts to the floor, then we'll change the foot back to the right foot. Then I'll show you a new step. It's four, three more, two more, here we go, back down to the floor, march it out. Okay, Allison, you still there? Yes, Claire? <laughs> Good, they're still back there. Hope you are. It's four, three, get ready, tap right, it's down, two. Now this time, we're gonna do two basic steps. That's up, up, down, down. That's one basic step. Then we'll do four straddle. Then we'll walk back along the side of the step and do a march back behind. Are you ready? You can follow us or just march behind your step and watch us do it once. In four and three and two, right foot up, one basic, two basic, now four straddle, up and straddle, two. Now you're coming up to the front of your step. There you go. Last time, now stay down, walk it back. One, two, three, four. March it four, again, yes. Two basic, four straddle, up and out. Two, that's not so bad, is it? Lift, good, that's it. And again, stay down, march it. One, two, three, to the back. And again, here we go, up and down. Two, and down, four straddle. Now, as soon as you start to feel comfortable with this, what am I gonna do to you? <laughs> Confuse you more with some arms. One, two, three, four, march it. Here we go. Lift, lift. All right, no arms. Up and down. Two, and down. Three, and down. Four, let's take it back. Walk it. One, two, three, four, march it. Bicep curl again. Lift. Lift, now arms to the front, here we go. One, and down, two, and down, whoa, three, and down, watch your step. Take it back, it's march back, three and four. Let's go again, up, and down. Yeah, that's good, you've got it. Take it up, straddle, two, straddle, three. One more time, you're gonna stay down right here. One, two, three, four, march. Let's try it one more time. Up, and up, great. Now four straddle. Two more, 
Now you're gonna walk it back. One.